The Axeman of New Orleans is a known serial killer from the years 1918 and 1919. Before I began researching the Axeman, the only thing I knew was that it was an unsolved mystery that had multiple murders and an odd letter written to the city of New Orleans. I had heard the story a couple times before I researched it and thought it was such a mystery and it thought it would be nice to look into it. I chose this topic mainly because I wanted to know why it has been over 100 years and no one has been close to solving it. When I was conducting my research, I made sure I chose sources that had something more than just facts. I wanted something that offered a new perspective in telling me the same story that I already knew. While researching the axe man of New Orleans, I found out that he was responsible for 12 attacks, and the odd letter that everyone talked about actually included some very weird things. In this letter, the axe man said he was a demon living in hell, and that he wanted the city to play jazz music on a certain night, and anyone who did not play jazz music would die. There was also a small possibility that the Axeman was responsible for more than just the 12 attacks. In the end, there was only one possible suspect, but he died shortly after people began to suspect him. I have previously mentioned that I chose sources that offered a new perspective on the Axeman. To find these sources, I usually listen to podcasts or watch videos about the Axeman and use the sources that they used to conduct my own research. I started off by choosing the basic sources that told the story of the Axeman, and then I went further in and found ones that offered me theories and other perspectives. When I was researching the Axeman, my main thing I wanted to look for was what his possible motive was. I wanted to try and figure out why this man mysteriously out of the blue popped up in 1918, killed for 18 months, and then left with no explanation. Not only was this man responsible for deaths, but he terrorized the city in such an odd way that it's unbelievable that no one has ever caught him. The Axe of New Orleans has sparked many theories within America. Some people believe that it was a mafia or gang doing all of the killings, and some people believe that it was multiple people responsible for every different death. Some just assume that it was one person doing it all for no reason. The conclusion that I came to after the end of my research is that the Axeman was probably a mentally ill person that didn't even live in New Orleans. I believe that he lived outside of New Orleans and came into town just to murder people and had no true motive. He always chose houses on a corner that were very reserved so he could sneak in and out very easily, so I believe that he did it just to kill people. But I don't think that he had an urge to kill, I just think he had a want to kill. I drew this conclusion about the Axeman because his letter suggests that he had a mental illness and I believe that he lived outside of New Orleans because no one had ever seen anybody that resembled descriptions that the victims had given the police. The victims mainly described him as a tall, dark figure, somewhat heavyset, and was usually in a black coat, and no one in New Orleans fit that description.